So I'm up to uh, taking off the fuel filter. It's not too hard really. Um, just pull that one off and pull that one off. I've taken out the bolt so it doesn't help me move. Um, you just lift it out. There's a plug down there. Just unplug that. That's it. That's not too much to it. So now you just put it in your vise and you take that off as your water um, sensor thingy. And then yeah, you just take your filter off and put it on the housing and yeah, easy as that. So I'll put it in the vise now and uh, I'll go grab the new one and chuck it on. So to get the sensor off, you um, you get a pair of these. It's uh, you're especially made for this kind of stuff, I think. So it doesn't damage it. It's only plastic. So. So um, you just take your time with it, it comes off, so just loosen it up and uh, you can do the rest by hand. So I'll show you the sensor in a second. By the way, there's a cat down there, that's um, that's pretty sweet. There's a shot car, you turn it up one day and it just hasn't gone. So um, yeah, that's just a sensor, nothing, nothing too serious to it. So you just undo that and uh, just put in the new one. So uh, this is the new filter, so it's a Z679. So that's right, M and Triton. So I don't know if it fits anything else. But um, yeah, it's the one you get. So uh, the next thing is you grab a tool. Uh, we don't have anything big enough for the filter itself. So we've got this one. Uh, Pretty much it's like a bar and a um and a seatbelt. So they put it on there and then you put a ratchet on there and there. Uh, it's not really too hard. You just put it on there and uh slightly turn it. It's a little hard doing it with one hand. And I'll try and do it anyway. There you go, stamp them off now. So you just undo it off the housing and then you uh you put the new one on. Uh, it's, it's easy, so it's, it's pretty much like a uh, car filter. So, as you can see, it comes off pretty easy. So, um, that's just your normal filter. So, when you're done with it, just um, yeah, just get rid of it. Uh, I don't recommend putting it in a bin, but, uh, take it down to Super Cheap or something, and yeah, you, you should be able to drop it off. So. I'll um, give this a bit of a clean up and then I'll uh, start putting the new one on. So pretty much like a um, oil filter. Give the um, there's a rubber seal there, so get a bit of oil and uh, just put a bit on it. it uh, helps it seal a bit better. And um, yeah, it's easy as that. So now you just grab it and uh, stick back on the housing itself. And you just turn it and then um, you just turn it turn a certain certain amount so what is it uh, two thirds oh. I'll do that and um, you know you you got a, um, a low ring just here so don't lose that um, it's easy as that Add that off and got an old one on there. So you just take that off, put the new one on, and uh, that's the water sensor. So it's easy as that. So the uh, water sensor's on now. And I just did the uh, filter up a bit more. So now you can uh, chuck it back in the in the ute. So it's not a hard process. Um, just make sure you don't do the uh, filter up too tight. Once again, there's a uh, an O-ring in there. You do it up too tight, you're gonna have issues. So that just goes in there, and then you just um, put the plug back together and hoses on. And I'm gonna do the uh, second filter down there. You probably won't film that. As a, it's pretty much the same as this one. So I'll um, get stuck into the second one now and hook it all up. And then once I've done that, I'll show you how to. Um, 
from the fuel system. So that's uh, both filters done now. So that one down there, that was a little tricky to get out. Um, yeah, once I put it in, uh, it's not really made to come out. So it's kind of a uh, bit of a annoyance there, but um, I got it out anyway. Just undid these and sealed them up again so it shouldn't leak. So I'll show you how to um, bleed it now. There's a little bleed on here, so you just pump it. And uh, you know, stupid me didn't put uh, fuel on the filter, so it, it takes a while. So yeah, um, last time I did it, it took about five minutes to uh, bleed the whole system. So it comes out of the tank, goes into the filter, and then comes back and goes into this before it goes into the motor. So, you got to um, pump a fair bit of fuel. So I'll, um, I'll get back into this and take me a bit. So once it's all uh, bled and everything, I'll uh, get on to the next thing. So I'm not going to lie, that was, uh, yeah, it was a little annoying. Took a bit to uh, bleed them both. So yeah, you got to bleed one and then the other. And then yeah, it took about 10 minutes to, to bleed it properly. But yeah, it's all gone now. So um, that's another thing ticked off the list.